Hello friends! Today we will discuss a cool topic, unconventional composition in Impressionist photography. Picture a time before Impressionism, where the art world was shackled by traditional composition. Every painting followed a formulaic approach, carefully placing each element to lead the viewer's eye towards the focal point. This was the norm, and for centuries no one dared to deviate from it. But then come the Impressionists, a group of artists who were anything but conventional. They turned composition on its head, creating paintings unlike before. They were like a breath of fresh air, and their work sparked a revolution in art. Impressionists approach composition with a sense of playfulness and experimentation. They were not afraid to place the focal point of a painting in unusual positions, deviating from the traditional central placement. Instead, they explored negative space, placing the subject off the side and even at the edges of the canvas. One possible explanation for this shift away from traditional composition could be attributed to the growing popularity of photography, which was a new medium at the time. It's no wonder the Impressionists, who were at the forefront of artistic innovation, were fascinated by this new technology. Suddenly, they had a new tool at their disposal, and they set out to explore photography's possibilities. Impressionism is all about capturing the feeling and mood of a scene, rather than just copying what you see with your eyes. It's all about using light and color in creative ways to create a certain atmosphere or emotion. One way you can achieve this effect in your photos is by playing around with depth of field. This means adjusting your camera settings so that only part of the image is in focus, while the rest is blurred out. This can draw attention to one particular element of the photo, making everything else look dreamy and ethereal. Another technique you could try it's photographing through objects, like leaves or branches. This can create interesting patterns and shapes in your photos, and adds an extra layer of texture and interest. You can also experiment with shooting from unusual angles, or using long exposures to capture movement and motion in your images. One of the key techniques that Impressionists borrowed from photography was cropping. In photography, you can zoom in on a particular detail or subject, creating a sense of intimacy and immediacy. The Impressionists took this idea and ran with it, using cropping to create dynamic compositions that drew the viewer's eye to a particular detail or a moment in time. Another technique you could try is using negative space in your composition. Negative space is the space around your subject. By using negative space effectively, you can create a sense of balance and simplicity in your image. But the most important thing to remember when using unconventional compositions is to be creative and have fun with it. Don't be afraid to try new things and take risks. After all, that's what Impressionism is all about. Breaking the rules and pushing the boundaries. In many ways, the Impressionists were the original rebels, breaking free from constraint of traditional composition and exploring new avenues of artistic expressions. They pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable in art, creating innovative and timeless work. Today, their influence can be seen in countless art forms, from painting to photography. Ultimately, the key to creating successful Impressionist composition 
it's to let go of preconceived notions about what makes a good photo. Instead, focusing on capturing the feelings and emotions evoked by a particular scene. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and happy shooting!